Hello guys, yeah, thanks for coming back to KDB, subscribe to this channel, and if you are yet to subscribe and this is the first time noticing this channel, just click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, that will tell you where we drop our videos. Thank you. Uh, this is Y2024 Salt Analysis, okay? So, but before we go into the question for salt analysis, I would love to talk about the previous video I did on digression. Actually, I saw a lot of comments telling us why didn't I protonate the uh, uh, solution B. Actually, that was done, but it does not show in the video. So you do well to add five, about five or ten centimeter cube of concentrated, I mean, uh, two molarity H2SO4 into the solution of B before you begin the titration. And one more thing is that uh, your tables, your burette reading, is in two decimal place, your title value is also in two decimal place. However, after the title value has been calculated and recorded in two decimal place, every other calculation should be done in three significant figures. So this is one of the additional information I have based on the previous video of titration. So let's dive into the salt analysis question. Actually, nobody is setting question as the examination body or nobody knows whatever they will set, but we are just working based on uh, whatever uh, preparation we could do in order to help you in your examination. Okay, so we have the sample to be C. It's a mixture of two salts, and we are told to carry out certain tests on C. Okay, so we are told to take part of C into a boiling tube and add water into it as usual. Then uh, we have to filter and keep the residue and filtrate. So it indicates that the solution, and I mean the salt, we contain two soluble, two in, uh, salt, one will be soluble, one will be insoluble. Then we have, we have to test the filtrate with litmus paper, so to, that is to show whether uh, the filtrate is acidic or basic. Okay, then we are told to eat the filtrate. Actually this test, I'm not going to do it because uh, the filtrate does not really decompose when we eat. So we should be expecting no gas or no change in color, so I'm asterisking that, so that might not be part of the test I will do now. Then, divide the residue into two and add potassium dichromate solution to a portion that we are done with our filtrate and then we go with the residue. Then lastly, we are told to add HCl to, uh, to the other part of the residue and see what happens. So, we are, we are going to perform the test now. So, this is the salt C, okay, the mixture of the two salts. Actually, I have one or two things to say about the mixture. But let us go through the test and see our observation and inferences. So now, um, uh, we are told to add uh, C into. We are told to add Q part of C into uh, boiling tube, so which I'm adding now. I couldn't find my spatula, so I'm making use of this method to revise. Yeah, we just need a small fraction of it, but don't mind me, I'm using this. So thereafter, I'm told to add 10 cm cube of water. You don't have to measure that. Just add enough water that is going to dissolve your salt. Or that is enough to dissolve your salt. That's all you need. So I'll do that now. Can you see? My observation is that I have a white solution. A white solution. I'm having a white solution. And I'm still seeing little of suspension. So which means... The observation is that a white solution is formed with uh, suspension. So, which means the inference for that is that the the salt is partially soluble, it con and it contains soluble and insoluble salts. Okay. The observation is that the salt. So, I have to filter the mixture now. So, the inference is that C is a partially soluble salt and it contains soluble and insoluble salt. So then, I'm trying to filter now. Okay, I could not get everything 100%. So let's wait for it. So this is the filtrate, and this is the residue here. We have the residue here in the litmus paper. So we have to keep that one side, and then perform the test on the filtrate. We're told to test the filtrate with litmus paper. So testing the filtrate with litmus paper now. I'll test with blue and then test with red. I have to test with both litmus paper to be uh, sure what I'm doing. At least, if it does not respond to blue, 
is to definitely respond to the red. So let's see what goes around. Okay, there was no response to blue litmus before. So let's check for red. Wow. So let's check for red. There was no response to red in past paper as well. There was no response. So we keep that. Our observation is that there is no response to little paper. So there's no there is, the inference with the solution is neither acidic nor basic. So solution is a neutral solution. The future is a neutral solution. So let's move to the next aspect. So the next aspect is uh, we take the residue and perform some tests on it. So the part of the residue we're going to divide the residue into two and add potassium dichromate solution. So I'm doing that now. I'm picking out the residue into this. All right. So then, this is my potassium chloride solution. So then, I need to get. I need to just add potassium dichromate to it. So let's see the response. The color turns pale yellow. It turns to something yellowish. Okay. So there is a yellow coloration in the mixture. Yeah, as you can see. Okay. We give our observation and inference we meet at court. Then the next is we take the other part of the residue. That's the second part of the residue. Okay. So this is the second part of the residue. Then we are told to add. We are going to add to the second part of the residue, we are going to add H2SO4, I mean HCl rather. Okay, let's go ahead to add HCl to it and see what goes around. Okay. Okay. If I be saying so, I notice if I be saying so, the gas will be tested. So, testing for the gas will be having CO2, that's carbon dioxide, which is a gas that turns lime water milky. Then from that, you can give our observation and inference based on the first test with chromate and the second test with HCl. Go to the table of results. So we have our test, observation and inference here. So one thing you need to know about the salt given is the mixture of two salts, which is uh, PBNO3 plus NA2CO3. It is funny. You see, these two salts are soluble in water. So why would they mix it and eventually you have soluble and a soluble salt. This is the reason being that the ions, the positive ions were swapped to get so then you eventually produce uh, NaNO3 which is soluble. So this happens to be our filtrate and the residue is now PV 
CO3. So that is why our test is giving us all those results. So we are testing the filtrate. This in solution, it gives us no response to litmus paper. Actually, we're expecting it to turn uh, blue litmus paper red or red litmus paper blue, but it's neutral. So, which probably means the ion in solution, uh, hydrogen ion with sodium ion, then uh, nitrate, uh, trisonitrate ion, and hydroxide ion in water. So, that makes it neutral. So, then the next is we spoke about. Um, these then okay that's for the future then for the residue we divided the residue solution into two uh, the residue into two and uh, make a solution of the first one then add uh, potassium dichromate into it then it eventually turns yellow so we saw the yellow coloration changes so that predicts probably aluminium ion or lead is present so then to the second part of the residue after adding hcl we discovered that effervescence occur Effervescence and the gas was tested to be CO2. So the CO2 will definitely come from this CO3. Are we there? Do we, can we even see very well? So the CO2 actually comes from the CO3. Then we have white precipitate. So whenever the residue is tested to have white precipitate and uh, in excess, when you add it here in excess, PV2 plus will be confirmed. So these are uh, the little I think uh, I have to give. In case it will help and it will definitely help. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and share our videos. Thank you.